All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 series, where today we are back here in this little shack over at the quarry, and we're gonna try and kill a Deathclaw. I know, I know, we're trying to make our way to a mission today, which, oh god, what was even the name of this again? Special delivery, there we go. Uh, but we did, of course, run into a Deathclaw at the end of the last episode, and I want him dead. So what we're gonna try and do is lure him to us, and uh, go into this building, because, well, I like gaming the system and, uh, you know, glitching out death claws to places where they can't kill me. And use that bottle cap mine that we found in there. I think that might be fun. So we're going to lure him in using our automatic uh, machine gun here that I still keep forgetting to tear down for parts. And yes, hopefully all will be well. Hello, death claw. Let's pull you to us. How's this going to go? We've hit him. We've hit him more. Come on, buddy. Come and find me. I may be too- Oh, nope, nope, nope. He's coming. He is coming. We have done nothing damage-wise, but then again, this is not exactly made to be a uh, long-range weapon. Oh, he is ducking and diving and weaving. Okay, okay. I'm going to go back this way. Dog meat may be holding him off over the- Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. All right, and... Oh, God. Bottle cap mine. <laughs> and it did, in fact, do a lot of damage to him. And now he can't get into this building. At least I hope not. No, nope, no, he doesn't seem to be able to. So we're going to continue to shoot at him with this gun. Because, well, I have... A oh, God, so much ammo for it. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, God, he got in here. He got in here. <laughs> okay, okay. He's, he's not good at it, though. He's not good at it. He kind of got stuck. <laughs> He got in, though. I was not expecting that. Huh. <laughs> we survived. Okay, okay. Enough of that gun. Let's go to something that does more damage to things. <laughs> Gonna back out righteous authority. What the hell? I'll take the rest of it off of him. Dog meat. You survived. Good job. Good job. Okay, well. That's how you start an episode. <laughs> Man, that, uh... Bottle cap mine did a lot of damage. I normally avoid mines because I typically have a tendency to blow myself up with them before an enemy, but that worked out quite well, though I should probably get some food in me. Oh uh, boy, let's go down to aid and go down to all the Myrlurk meat that we have. Though mutant ha oh no, mongrel dog meat. Ah, mutt chops? No, well, we got a lot of those too. Nah, let's go for the Myrlurk cakes. There we go. Let's try and get these things out of our system. And now also I just thought to myself, oh god, are there going to be other death claws over here? <laughs> Probably are. Oh boy, oh, oh god, I thought I could jump onto that. Did not happen. Ooh, can we get in this bus? He seemed oddly interested in it when he was over here. Also, hmm, building. Well, there was a person in here that he killed, interesting. That may have been why he was interested. He had to kill them. He had to kill all of them. Mm, they had a fair few things. Grilled rad stack. I'll take that. Dog food. Meh. Uh, what do we got over here? More 308 rounds. Yeah, I'll take the Molotov. Rest. Meh. Ribeye steak. Nice. They had some good other food. Not all the canned junk. That oh, God. And now it's raining. Lovely. Just what we needed today. All right, let's head in this direction and keep an eye out for any other potential. Oh boy, death claws. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really think about that when I decided to kill that one. I was just thinking, you know, this might be fun. <laughs> okay, we're almost to our target. Which oh god, where are we heading to? Wasn't it? Uh, oh, mercenary. Why are you red? Aren't the people here supposed to be on our side? Maybe that's why. They've been hit. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's sneak in. No one over there. Yeah, they're both red. I like their equipment, though. Look at that good combat armor. I got an awesome looking helmet. Shall we? Shall we kill them? And boom! 
Oh, he's down, and the other guy didn't even notice. And now he's down, too. <laughs> Those were good shots with this righteous authority. Nice. All right, well, let's loot their stuff. 45 rounds. I always need those. Short combat rifle. Uh, I'll come back for their combat armor, because I, I want it and I need it for my uh, various settlements. I'm starting to upgrade all their leather armor pieces over to combat armor. But I don't want to load myself down right now, so I will come back in the future. Hello! How are you? Oh, were those actually your mercenaries? Um, hi. Excuse me. This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Oh, no, they were your mercenaries. You're just not the person I want, maybe? Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new girl. Yes, with the package. fabulous hat. Pretty sure we know where it is. Uh huh. Guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Okay. And who are these guys? Who are these guys? Raiders? Sure. Assholes with guns. Although it's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Kind of like they're scouting this place or something. Hmm. I don't like it. I'm glad you're going to finally get rid of them. Okay, okay. Now I am still curious and wondering, though, if those guys that I just killed were her people. But they were red! They were red in the vats, so how was I to know? Okay, so now we're going to kill a lot of folks, so that's always a bonus. Okay, now we know our target. So how far is this place? Just up north a bit. Alright, actually, yeah, let's go out this way. And actually check in these little uh, buildings here. Nothing of interest. What about this one? Oh, God, I see a bag. A doofle. There we go. I'll take the Molotov. Oh, which reminds me. What grenade did it go to now that I uh, used the bottle cap mine earlier? None. Well, let's go to the Molotovs. We got a lot of those. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious if I killed those mercenaries accidentally. But again, they were red. So even if they were friendly, they deserved it. If you're red in vats, you are bad. I've run into that issue several times with, you know, people who I wasn't sure if they were bad or not, and then they shot me. Hello? More of you. I'm gonna give you a wide berth, and also intrigued and curious what the crap that tower is! Oh my god, I, I gotta check this out. Side tracking! <laughs> Hello? Lynn Woods. Cool. That's a nice place. Ooh. Oh god, is it a settlement that people want things? Interesting. Dog meat found something. Too bad, dog meat. Not today. <laughs> Let's continue on our mission. All right, we'll come check this place out again now that we have the travel point. I'm not seeing anyone, though. I am queuing for vats, and nothing is happening. Hmm. Well, let's continue to head this way. So they're supposed to be in there, huh? Survivalists! Oh, we're picking these fools off. With the sniper rifle. Oh, yeah. Dog meat! Go! Hidden! So what, what do we got? What do we got here? We got the Raider Survivalist there. And that's the only one I have eyes on. And only just barely. I cannot hit them. <laughs> Damn. Okay, okay. Let's move along a little bit here. Maybe we can get a better view of them. Anyone out here? Nope. Okay, we can kind of see in that building now. And... Hold our breath. Boom! Holy crap, that didn't kill them. That was a headshot. What the hell? Oop! Hello! Ah, I killed that one. <laughs> Alright. It's coming out. Missed. And... Missed! Eat a Molotov! Adioop! Ha! <laughs> he actually got him! Oh, be damned. Look at that. Okay, they're getting close now. Let's get out a better gun. <laughs> Hello, survivalist! You take a lot of damage! 
Good job, dog meat. Q. There we go. Boom, boom, and come on, boom. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, they're our target. <laughs> okay, hello, mysterious serum. Lovely, so this is our thing. We're supposed to be gra- Oh my god, look at those rads. <laughs> or negative rads, rather. I like it. Okay, frag grenade. I'll leave again. I'll leave the rest because I just I don't want to weigh myself down for right now. I'm definitely gonna come back though and grab all this combat armor off of these folks. Got a lot of things off of them. Come on, I don't want the mutated fern. I want their ammo. And let us inspect their little base here. Hmm. Pretty uh, pretty messy. Not exactly the. Cleanliest people now, were they? Uh, what the? <laughs> okay, that's the thing. And oddly, not really anything around the loot. I mean, we got a little toy rocket ship. Oh, yay. A feather duster. Oh, we got an ammo box. There we go. 50 cal rounds. Ah, that's what I was wanting there. Excellent. Excellent. We have a boat. Nice. Oh, come on. No, I don't want that. I want what's in there. Rad X. There we go. I also want the boat, though. Can we push it out onto the water and, you know, get it going again? Okay. You, you. I'll leave the rest. And back to base. Actually, are we heading back to the... Oh, no. We are heading all the way back to Cabot's place. So, yeah, there we go. Let's just fast travel. Be far easier. Yeah, I didn't know if we had to go back to the hospital or not. Yes, yeah, so I'll have to remember to go back there for that combat armor. So far, I've only been able to furnish two of my settlements with combat armor for my guards. I need more. I need more. Much more. Oh, God. And we've actually started finding... Well, we've only found two pieces of synth armor so far, but... Oh, God. Then we got to find that stuff and then improve that armor for my settlers. Oh, God. It's a never-ending cycle. I should have just kept it at the leather armor. Oh, <laughs> uh, I gotta give them better guns, too. Currently, they all have pipe rifles still, but really, really good pipe rifles. But still pipe rifles. <laughs> I th I'm thinking I'm st currently stockpiling at Sanctuary energy weapons that I find so that I can move them all over to, like, laser rifles. But for now, though, for now, that's not the thing. Hi again, SentryBot. How are you? I'm gonna put away my gun so you don't want to kill me. There we go. And into Cabot House we go. Oh, I hope we find out more about this guy and why he's, I think, from pre-war. I think. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. Come on. Load, you fool. You're taking unusually long to load. Imogene is what? missing, and I want her found. Uh huh. Not missing, mother. Do you know where she His is? His mother? No, but that does Your sister mean... is missing, and I want her found. Uh huh. This is Edward Four, if not to keep the family safe. I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. That's it's gonna be me, mother. isn't it? Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Again. I don't think you're even listening to me, Jack. I'm uh -huh. not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Jack, <laughs> how dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? Okay. Okay, that was a thing. Hi, Edward. You so did you find out what happened to, to the courier? Oh, oh, yeah. Some raiders set up camp. Blah, 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 blah. Ambushed him. Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to keep it. I want to keep it. But no, no. There was only one vial left. There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. Nice. 150. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. Cool. That was good work. Thank now, you. As far as what's next. This whole Imogene thing? I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Do I have Jack's to? not going to be happy about it. Come on. There's still fighting, you know. I'll take care of it. 
Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you. It's gonna be me. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? Oh. Poor Jack. You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean's Say what? Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. Yeah, She's, pretty much. Uh, a little flighty. Flighty, you Impulsive. say? Impulsive. Impulsive? At times she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Uh huh. Um, sounds like a piece of cake. Uh, your sister's even crazier than Jack. I kind of like this, but do you know where she's gone? Do you know where she's gone? No, but it shouldn't be too hard to find out. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Okay, and what if she doesn't want to come home? What if she doesn't want to come home? Obviously, as one of the family, you can't just knock her in the head and drag her home by her heels. Aww. Usually, by the time I send someone after her, she's gotten bored with the whole thing and is ready to come home. I'm sure you'll think of something. You're supposed to be resourceful, remember? Oh, fine. I'm gonna go talk to Jack, though. Jack! Also, you, Why lady. Emma Jane do this to me? I, I don't know, but can we talk? Hi, Mrs. Cabot. I can't believe how callous Jack can be about his sister. Uh-huh. I just can't bear to think what might have happened to poor Emma Jane. Ah, you're not going to talk, are you? Where's Jack? Let's go explore upstairs. <laughs> Must talk. Oh, God, he's probably up there where he's going. Ooh. Zeta gun. Interesting. We're going to steal that at some point, I suspect. Oh, hi! Hi. Hmm? What? Uh, I was intrigued by your theory of an ancient alien... I really wasn't, but I'm kind of tempted to ask this. Uh, quite a place you've got here. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Quite a place you've got here. Amazing that it survived the war. Thank you. I try not to take it for granted. We were definitely more fortunate than most. It hasn't been easy keeping it up to pre-war standards, but we do what we can. Uh-huh. No, see, I'd want to know how your father traveled to Arabia. How'd your father manage to travel to Arabia with the whole world blown to hell? Ah, well, that was before the war, when he was a young man. Yeah. Unless he was frozen like me. Uh, which one to go with? Let's see. Uh, this one. How is that possible? The war was 200 years ago. It is an unusual situation, but... Well, it's a private family matter. That's no concern of yours. Are we done? Ah, uh, um, let's see. What's going on at that old asylum? What's going on at that old insane asylum? I carry out some of my research there. That's all you need to know. Hmm. I doubt I'll pass that. I'm just going to go with this for right now. Okay. I was just... Curious. Are we done? No. I'm... St I, I... You know what the hell? We're gonna I ask. I was intrigued by your theory about an ancient alien civilization. Actually, it was my father's theory. Now proven beyond doubt, although only to me, unfortunately. Uh -huh. There aren't many archaeology journals publishing these days. <laughs> I doubt it, yes. Uh, let's see. You have proof? Enough to satisfy me. <laughs> he only made a single expedition to the Lost City. But he brought back enough to show beyond a doubt that the city he found wasn't made by or for human beings. Millennia older than the earliest human civilizations. But with technology that seems to have surpassed our own. And yet, Intriguing. everything about it is strange. Disturbing geometries. Tools not made for human hands. Carvings that hint at dimensions beyond our own. Huh... Okay, and I also just thought about something. He said his father, tra well, I'll, I'll hold it until I ask the rest of the questions, just in case, but I've got questions, many questions. You said your father found a lost city? Yes, he spent years looking and was widely ridiculed by the so-called experts. I'm ashamed to say even I doubted him. 
But in the end, he found it. A lost city, buried in the sands of the Rub al Khali, the empty quarter of Arabia. So, so wait, even you doubted him back then? So you're that old too? Oh boy, oh boy. So let's what see. What was your father's theory? He believed that all of the earliest human civilizations shared some common parent that was unknown to history. Think of Atlantis. The myth of an advanced civilization destroyed by a cataclysm is shared by many widely separated ancient cultures. Eventually, he found what he was looking for. A lost city, buried beneath the sands of the empty quarter of the Arabian desert. Okay, that seems to be all I can ask I him about to that. Ask you about something else. All right. And I've got to get, I've going. Got to get going. All right. Damn. Okay, so now to my my thing that he's even he he is really old. Doesn't it? He, he is very old because he says his father traveled to Arabia and found his proof there. Thing is though, if I'm remembering my Fallout lore correctly, the Middle East was wiped out even before the Great War. It was wiped out during the Resource Wars, which, oh god, I can't remember how long that happened before the uh, the Great War. But, yeah, Europe and the Middle East pretty much nuked the crap out of each other during the Resource War. So how did, how did he go to Arabia? Is that a plot hole, or am I just misremembering how badly those parts of the world were destroyed by the Resource War? I don't know! Either way, though, it is intriguing, and they are old. Very old. Right now, my theory is perhaps they were ghoulified, but they found a way to not be, you know, ghoulish. Or, they were like me, and in a cryo vault. One of the two. One of the two. Maybe. Or I, or something completely random that I don't know what else is going on yet. Let's snoop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyone else down here besides creepy statues? Nope. Ooh, whiskey. Door. Meh. Oh, God, dog meat, you're in my way. What is this? Ah. Oh. This is your room, isn't it? <laughs> Giant fat man launcher. Yeah, that's his room. Okay, where else to look about? Hello? Oh, yep, oh, already been here. Ah, requires key. Well, that's all the cabin house we can explore. Okay, okay. Well, let's head to Good Neighbor. I don't know how much we're going to do with Good Neighbor because we're already at 23 minutes. I don't want this to go too long. So perhaps we'll just ask around the bar, maybe if that, uh, if we have enough time for that. I mean, I assume we should. We're just going to fast travel over there after all. Oh. Sentry bot seemed a little freaked out. Kind of buzzing. Hi. Stay off the grass. No. No. And I already know you're not going to do anything to me because between episodes, I was on the grass. And you did nothing. Ha ha. Well, let's travel. Oh my god. Where is that place again? Uh, good neighbor. There we go. Let's fast travel. And check out the bar, I guess. Ask some questions. Maybe talk, chat up some people, have a drink. Mmm, drink. Hmm. I should have a nightcap after this. What do I have at the moment? I don't know. <laughs> okay, back to the episode. Let's head over this way. Actually, once I'm done with the episode, I'll probably go into the store and sell some things. That'll be good. The third rail. And we go. So yeah, a couple minutes of asking about. Should be good. Should be good. Oh, uh, God. First a serum. Now we gotta find his sister. Oi. You are a well-dressed man, sir. Hello. Says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Uh-huh. Go on in. Excuse me. Enjoy your stay. He's not going to talk, is he? Okay, going in. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's in a metro station. Nice. Oh, this is a nice little bar. I like it. Ah, oh, I got a singer and everything. Oh, I'm going to like it in here. Yes. Hello, Drifter. Yeah. Nope, nothing on you. What? A 
named people. No, I'm not looking for McGreedy. Hi, person. Oh, God. I'd like to see them try. Uh-huh. Okay. Do you know Imogene Cabot? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Okay. Gal wants a word. Why do you have a Cockney accent? Oh, oh, she was the singer. Oh, I was liking the music. Hello. Excuse me, miss. Hmm? Well, what's the matter, sweetheart? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. No, actually, I did. It was it was quite nice. Uh, no, I love the song. I love the song. It was perfect. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> so, now I'm Emma Jean. special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. General, mm, Lieutenant, I think I know Knight. I performer when I see one. You're good with your words. Know just the right thing to say at the right time. So what <laughs> no, rarely. Like <laughs> to my part of town? Well, uh, bu 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 bum bum bum. Uh, let's see. Me playing a game. For ba 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 ba. Bonus points if he's drunk. <laughs> I like that, but no. Uh, bu bum. Let's see. Which do I want to go with? I came here for a strong whiskey. I came here for a strong whiskey. <laughs> Charlie will be happy to hear that. I think you and I are going to get along just fine. Excellent. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Imogene, what do you know? Well, we could flirt, but meh. Uh, let's, let's see. I wouldn't mind hearing another song. Yeah, we'll go with the Imogene. Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Damn. Are you a friend of hers? Ah, uh, dun, dun, dun She's missing and her family is worried. She's missing and her family's worried about her. Oh, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Mm hmm Do you know where she's gone? Do you know where she's gone? There was this preacher fella who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane, she latched on to him for some reason. Oh, great. She joined a cult. So it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Ham, would you come over here a minute? Ham? Who the crap is Ham? Ham? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No. This lady here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that uh, preacher fella came from? Hmm. Brother Thomas? Yes. That's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept uh, going on God, I know, right? Joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here. I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Hmm. Good well, choice. Thanks, Good Sam. choice. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I thanks, Sam. Emma Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. You're looking for me? What can I do for you? Wait, what? How did that start over? Um, b -b 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 Let's just go with Mountain Mine hearing another I song for now and while I saunter off into the sunset. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, that is going to be it for this episode. We got information on uh, what, or where, rather, Imogene has gone. Apparently she's joined a cult. And yeah, yeah, good times, good times. We're probably going to have to kill them all. <laughs> but that's going to be it for this episode, folks. I hope you have enjoyed. And of course, you do come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.